Good morning, afternoon, or evening, everybody. Math with Chris. Uh, today, we are going to find the factors of the number 30 using a factor tree. First thing we always do is we bank the two easiest factors. That's, of course, 1 and the number itself. That's 30. Uh, now we need to think of any two numbers that multiply together to give us 30. We've got a couple options. Uh, let's go with 3 times 10. You can go with any combination you'd like as long as the numbers multiply to give you 30. Uh, you'll get the same answer no matter what, but I'm going to go with 3 times 10 here. Let's take a look at the 3 first. Is 3 a prime number? It is. Nothing more to do there. What about 10? Can anything multiply together to give you 10? Uh, yes, sir. 2 times 5 equals 10. Is 2 a prime number? It is. Circle. Is 5 a prime number? It is. Circle. Uh, and now everything's been circled, so every tr uh, branch of the tree ends in a circled prime number. That means we are uh, done with the tree. We have a 2, we have a 3, and we have a 5. Uh, if we put those down here, 2 times 3 times 5, those are the prime factorizations of 30. If you double check it, 2 times 3 times 5 does in fact give you 30. We nailed it. Uh, so now we got to bank everything that's uh, all the prime numbers. We've hit 2, 3, and 5. 2, 3, and 5. Uh, and uh, any number we hit along the way. Anything we hit along the way that we uh, can bank as well. Yeah, 10 right there. Bank the 10. That guy is uh, bankable. And uh, now we got to come back down here and see if there's any combination of these numbers that we can multiply together to give us another number that we haven't banked yet. Let's let's try. 2 times 3 is 6. Ah, oh, we don't have a 6 yet. Put the 6 in there. Uh, what about 2 times 5? We already got a 10, so nothing there. What about 3 times 5? 3 times 5 is 15. Don't forget about 15. Bank them there. And that is everything. No other combination we can we can multiply to give us a new factor. So we're done. We got eight factors here of 30. The factors of 30 are in order 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, 30. That's a wrap. I uh, hope you guys found this helpful. If you would like to see another example of finding factors using factor trees, click on the video you see in the upper left corner. Uh, until next time, everybody, have a great day.